In the headlines, Just van der West Hazen begs South Africans to forgive him by buying his new book. Nelson Mandela's old home is disintegrating faster than Jackie Silebi's defense. Mm. And we'll find out about consultants who consult little more than their bank statements. More on these stories right after this. Molo Sanibona, hello, how's it? I'm Tim Modise. You are watching ZA News because here yeah, you can. Former Springboks Kram Haaf, Just van der West Hazen, has asked fans to forgive him for denying that it was him on a sex tape. <laughs> he said he lied because he was confused. I say forgive the guy, man. You know, I would also be confused if I had a cat up each nostril and some loose tucky sucking on my tolly. Robben Island is falling apart and uh, unless something is done soon, it could lose its status as a World Heritage Site. The DA is blaming poor management for this disastrous situation. I am shocked at, uh, to hear this. Uh, and uh, when I left the island, it was in very good shape. <clears throat> uh, somebody's ass uh, needs uh, to be kicked. Uh, maybe they should bring back the old waters. Oh, the Department of Cooperative Governance last year spent more than 50 million rand on hiring consultants to help with service delivery and protection. Minister Sitkelo Shitkeka has not specified what exactly it was the consultant did to earn this money. Julius, Julius, what are you doing here? I am consultant, comrade president. Okay, okay. Any advice for me? I advise you to stand for a second term in 2012. <laughs> Interesting idea. <laughs> I might just do that. Excellent, sir. That will be 50,000 rand. Thank you. <laughs> you consultants aren't cheap, but you deliver a very good service. Hey, so this must be what they call uh, cooperative governance, eh? <laughs> Hello, you've dialed your president's hotline. If you never did, you should. These things are fun, and fun is good. How may I be of assistance? At last, Jacob, you know how many times I've tried to read you, how many hours I've wasted on this stupid call line. Hello, Helen. I get a lot of calls, you see. People have a lot of complaints these days. Well, I'm the leader of the opposition, and if people want to complain, they must wait until I have complained. Oh, all right, Helen. I'm listening. What do you mean you're listening? Well, I'm all yours. So tell me, what's on your heart, Helen? Well, uh, Jacob, why don't you ever return my calls? <laughs> <laughs> Returning to our top story, former Springboks Kram Hav, Just van der West Hazen has asked the public to give his family time to grieve and for the healing process to take place. We are joined now by the former leader of the Moral Regeneration Movement, President Jacob Gerlechegis Azuma and Springbok rugby coach Peter De Villiers. Mr. Zuma, uh, what's your opinion of uh, van der West Hazen's behavior? We all make mistakes, Tim. Pastor Ray McCauley says we should forgive people for their sins. Personally, I don't need forgiveness because the first time I was acquitted and the second time charges were dropped. Mr. De Villiers, uh, a year ago, a rugby official tried to blackmail you with a tape of you allegedly doing rude things with a woman in a car park. Do you uh, feel anything for Van der West Hazen? Okay, Tim, I feel fuck all, you know. Why must you bring that cock up again? It was most a conspiracy by white racists who didn't want to dark it to go to the box. I'm not guilty, okay? Van der West Hazen is the guy you're looking for. Van der West Hazen does say that he is disappointed with himself, but is now man enough to apologize to the people he hurt. 
Surely that counts for something. Yeah, he, he's so disappointed that he wrote the whole book spilling his guts and then he still got the boss to sit there signing autographs. I think he's more interested in royalties than forgiveness. <laughs> Ah, oh, yes. Uh, the biography is called uh, Just, uh, The Man in the Mirror, I believe. Yeah, that, that is, it's more like yours, the man snuffing in the mirror. Sorry, snuffing off the mirror, the people tell me. is how you do it. Not much sympathy there, then. Any words of encouragement for his long-suffering wife, Amor Vitone? She should become a polyandrist. That's the opposite of me, a polygamist. So if one husband goes bad, she still has another one to fall back on, <laughs> or under, <laughs> or on top of, <laughs> whatever she prefers. This woman needs to take singing lessons and stop farting like a horse. Shish man. Why are we doing this? Because here we can. From me and the rest of the team, it's Hambagate, goodbye, and Futek. <laughs> Tata, look at this. Some guys have done really well with their new South Africa. Eh, now, what science are does want? No, not in cents, Tata, in rents, dollars, pounds, and euros. Billions of them. Ah, that figures. Yes, and with plenty of zeros. Hmm. Hit up! Hit up!